Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs. And my name is Phyllis. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to thank you for stopping by and ask that you please consider subscribing if you like what you see. Today I'm going to share with you how I created my abstract wall art using a shower curtain and these pictures I'm showing because of the frame and I'll explain that in a minute but the first time I saw this done was done by the glamorous Penny Pincher and here is what she created I will leave a link to her video below and then Jorge he did in wall art where the and which is the black one that has the chalky look where the art was centered in the middle of the frame these are shower curtains um, that are on Amazon. I like the way this look, and I like this because of the color black and the blue and the gold, but I ultimately purchased this shower curtain. And I only purchased the small one, which is one panel, and I'm going to hold it up here for you now um, because I'm gonna iron it out because when it comes, it has the hard creases in them. And I want it straight um, before I put it on the canvas. And again, it's just one panel. Didn't come with two. I purchased the one panel, which was like $9 or something, but after tax was $10. A little over $10 and some change. So here it is. I'm just ironing it out. And I'm going to show you that I ironed out all of the creases. And then I'm going to show you the canvas that I will be using. I have a total of three. I'll be covering all three, but framing only two. These canvases I purchased from Goodwill oh, about two or three years ago, and I got them for $4.99 each. Originally, I was just going to do a hand painting canvas myself. I This is what it looked like on the front. I actually took the canvas off and turned it inside out. So the white side is just showing and then I just put them to the side and I didn't do anything for two years to them. So here it is. I'm um, laying out the shower curtain so that I can see how I want the pattern to lay on each canvas. Again, I'm going to be covering all three, but only framing two of them. And I'm also going to be doing a glitter glue on the two that I'll be framing and you'll see that further down in the video. Now that I got them laid out in the way that I want them to be on the frame, I'm just going to staple them and this is just a standard hand stapler and I'm just stapling them going from side to side because I'm pulling it as tight as I can so that there's no sag in the fabric once I'm done stapling. Now what I'm doing here is I have this paper that I purchased um, a long time ago. I think I got it from Michaels. And I'm going to use it as the backing on this frame. I didn't want it to just leave it open like this. And all I did was I laid it, the frame on top and saw and I traced it. And then um, all I did was staple it the same way that I did the fabric. So I didn't need to show that. And what I'm doing is um, I'm measuring here to make sure that I center the uh, picture hanging piece right in the middle so that when it's hanging up, it's not um, leaning to one side. This is what I end up using in the end, you'll see. But here I'm using the one that has the prongs on both ends where you just hammer it and not need screws. Well, I determined after I determined later on that I was going to put in the frame, I ended up pulling that out and using the first one that I showed you. Now here I'm um, going to, I've mixed right here, um, the glitter in the Mod Podge and every piece that looks peach, and it actually is peach, I'm going to be just putting this mixture in those spots. And of course, 
Those that use Mod Podge knows that Mod Podge dries clear and the only thing that will stay visible is the glitter. And I do this to only two of the three canvases. Here it is, I took it outside and while it's still wet, I'm sprinkling some more glitter on top. So there's glitter in the Mod Podge mixture and I'm sprinkling extra glitter on top. This one, I believe, yes, this one I'm going to end up, after it dries and I shake off the excess, I'm going to end up covering the whole thing with Mod Podge to seal it in. And then this one, I did not seal in because I wanted to see the difference. Um, I probably will later on maybe try to seal it in. I don't know because you'll see down at the end, I've already framed it. But what I like about it is the one that I didn't do Mod Podge on, the glitter is more shiny. And the one you'll see right here where I'm covering all in Mod Podge, after it dries, the glitter has a dull look. It's not as shiny, but I like both of them. And it didn't affect the shower curtain because you know shower curtains, they get wet with water. So they dry fast. And that's the one thing I liked about this when I was using the Mod Podge, Pod, Mod Podge mixture. It was drying really, really fast. So here they are all done. And I have them sitting in a frame. Again, the middle one. That I'm just going to hang up on my living room wall. I'm not going to even frame it. But I'm getting ready to show you what these frames really are that the canvases are sitting in. It's a picture on the reverse side, and these were originally purchased, I think in 2012 or 2013 for my daughter from Garden Ridge, which is now known as At Home. And she, back in the day, she was glam girl, and her bedroom was Marilyn Monroe's, just glitter and gold and all over. She's no longer a glam girl. So these pictures have been sitting in my garage, and I what I did, you can see where I cut, I just, cut just enough to where the pictures the canvases that I did can sit in the middle I didn't want to damage the pictures we can always put the pictures back on a frame but here you see I have it laid out where it's fitting perfectly just for the canvases to sit in the middle I originally used wood glue but that didn't do too great for me so you'll see towards the end I'm going to show you I end up using a glue stick and a cardboard for the backing and here is one it's just sitting in there it hasn't even been done but i just wanted to kind of get a it's a dry fit is what it is on this one but here this is where i show you the glue gun um the wood glue didn't sit too well for me in this so i ended up using the glue stick and that held perfectly no problem and this is a cardboard off of a thick box and what i'm doing now is making a matte trim out of gold um poster board that I've had and I purchased that from Michael. On one side is gold and the other side is gray. So I cut the strips just enough to cover the border so when the canvas is sitting in the middle, all you see is the gold. So I didn't need to cover the whole cardboard. Um, that's just, that would have been just wasting paper that I could use later on for another project. And here it is all completed. The ends are just covered and the canvas is sitting in the middle. And then what's coming up next is the frame that I put together. I'm getting ready to paint it. And this paint I purchased from Amazon, but I've had this for about two years. And um, I just end up painting the top, the outside, and the inside of the frame since it's going to be showing. And I let the frames dry for a couple hours because this glue does take a while. And here it is all completed. Now this project, this DIY, it's not the best, but I like the way it came out anyway. And I hung it up in my dining room, but you'll see that towards the end. So here it is all done. And I love the way the picture just kind of sit. I call it float in the middle of the frame. Again, the backing is just a cardboard from a box that was very, very thick. And then the trim is from a that old the old Marilyn Monroe pictures I just cut the trim out put it together and then trimmed the inside with gold um, poster board paper from Michaels and I taped it down I didn't even use the glue because I didn't want the glue to warp it and here they are both of them are done 
the one that has the most white at the top that's the one that i did not cover with mod podge and then the other one is the one that is covered with mod podge they came out so nice again i was inspired when i saw um the glamorous penny pincher create her abstract art out of shower curtain and i saw another young lady um that did the same thing this is becoming popular and then sitting in the middle of frame i was inspired when i saw jorge of um casa refined when he did his picture and it sat in the middle of the frame so i want to thank you all for stopping by and if you like it just give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing if you like what you see and don't forget to click the notification bell and select all so that you'll be notified of all videos that I upload in the future. And again, I want to thank you all for stopping by. restoration decor and designs and remember the distance between your dreams and reality is called action so until next time make it a blessed and productive day everyone bye bye